This sculpture, Weather Vane, by artist blacksmith Brent Kington, is part of a series of sculptures inspired by the weather vanes of Kington's youth in Kansas and other examples he saw at the American Folk Art Museum in New York City in the 1960s. Instead of a flat metal cutout spinning on a rod, Kington's sculpture consists of an elongated, curling horizontal rod of forged steel, terminated by discs, and balanced perfectly yet asymmetrically on the tip of the vertical base. With nothing but gravity holding the two parts together, Weathervane is able to spin, but also to pitch and roll slightly in a breeze or if touched. While the sculpture is meant to be enjoyed indoors rather than to gauge the wind's direction on a farm, it alludes to nature with the two differently sized discs representing the sun and the moon. Each Weathervane sculpture in Kington's series varies in the way its horizontal element twists and curls and in the size and orientation of the discs at its ends, but each one is asymmetrical. Kington remarked that what attracted him to these forms was the fact that they looked like they shouldn't balance, but they did. Years of forging and welding steel gave him the intimate understanding of its weight and density that made these sculptures possible, so that by the time he finished the series, he could predict within an eighth of an inch where a piece's balance point was and where to punch the tiny divot in the horizontal rod that allows it to rest on the fulcrum of the base's tip.